Mmm. About to put some seasoning on that. Still don't know what it'll look. Story of my life. So, there's like all this stuff going on in our country, you know, like an election and what have you. And uh, everyone's feeling their own version of pretty awful. <laughs> well, with the election and all kind of other things like COVID. But, uh, oh yeah, squash and onion. And from my friend's salad recipe of spices, Cavenders. Get that in there. Garlic powder. Get that in there. Dillweed. Get that in there. Yeah, and so everybody feeling bad. I feel like this is what I notice from people in politics. We have this group of people that frustrate us to no end. And uh, we see how annoying they are because the way they see reality is so favored toward their viewpoint. And it feels from our perspective like, don't you know how biased you are for, to see things that way? It works for you to see it that way. And, um, and the other side, feels the same way about us. Don't you know how biased you are to see it that way? Don't you know how stupid you are? Everybody's got that version. Everybody's got their cousin and that uncle we don't want around the kids. But, um, but yeah, I think I just wanna say there's probably some confusion and really uncomfortable energy going around from expecting the world to be a certain way and then knowing that you feel powerless against having neighbors like that. It's like hard, it's really hard to know what you can do to influence this world to be a better way. So when you, what do you do when you feel powerless? What do you do when you feel powerless? You can't do anything but look at the great nothing coming your way. Going slow on that for a reason because I feel like what we're supposed to do with the, the great nothing we feel sometimes is really hasty. I'm not saying action isn't needed. I'm just saying if you have a life full of not feeling what you feel and understanding what you're even feeling, your action oftentimes will be convoluted by really unhealthy ways of responding or reacting to anything. Uh, reaction's important if you're in wartime. If you don't react appropriately, if you haven't trained yourself to react well, you're probably going to make a really bad decision. But if you don't know what your response is, you're probably not having actions that are motivated, motivated by alignment with your values. Parmesan cheese. So, uh, so yeah, when we see the debate and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> people are throwing jokes around and we think they're hilarious. Other people think they're not funny. Other people think their jokes are hilarious against our team and we think they're not funny. And then some <laughs> amalgamation of the middle who feels like they're at the mercy of these two mobs going at one another who just don't find politics fun or healthy for our... <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, at least the polarization. Don't, don't find that very fun. They just feel like, uh, what do you do with this group of people? But back to what do you do when you feel like you, you don't have any control? I don't know the answer to that question. But, but for me, when I felt that way, um, I remember one time pulling over by the interstate because I couldn't see. I was crying so hard. I was pulling over and like crying and sobbing and a police officer pulled over and he was like, are you okay? <laughs> I'm trying to pull myself together enough to say something that was technically not true. I'm not okay. But I said, yes, I am okay. Uh, but I'm not okay in a way that I wasn't about to have a conversation with a police officer about. And he said, uh, I just need to know you're not going to do something. You're thinking about harming yourself, that kind of thing. So, um, another day in my later teen years, 
I'm face down in my driveway and the gravel and the mud and the rain is crying hard because I just don't know what to make of anything. I don't understand. I, I'm not in touch with my guidance system then like I am today. Intuition and my values. So what do you do when you don't know what to do and you don't understand? Um, action that's congruent with your values is really important. And if we don't, if we're not there yet, some of the best things many of us can do and we don't understand, and we're feeling all this crazy energy right now, especially with the election and everything, some of the best things any of us can do is sit down and feel what we're feeling. And if it hurts, looking at it and saying that hurts, you might be surprised to learn that it hurts from a place of valuing not hurting. It hurts from a place of wanting to feel better. And the more that we connect with ourselves on that, I think the more we will come to a place where we, we see what's beyond our pain. And it's the values. It's the values we really want to live and, and enjoy in this world. We want to participate. We want to have friends. And we want to love and be loved and know and be known. But we really can't ever get to those values if we're so busy not feeling what we're feeling. And so th that's what this encouragement is, is to, uh, you don't know what to do. It feels awful. I'm encouraging to spend some time and look at that feeling and say, that doesn't feel good. I would rather be feeling this. And it only doesn't feel good in relation to what we'd like to be feeling. And that's okay. Um, that could be a good indication that we're not where we want to be. But that can help amplify the... Uh, the volume of where we would like to be. And here's the message I was to straight, say straightforward to every person in this world. If where you would like to be is controlling your neighbor and forcing them to see things the way that you see them, you're an enemy to this world. You're not good for your neighbor. You're not good for me. You're not safe for yourself. That's my honest opinion. The change that we bring about in this world through our forcing things to be a certain way, um, either by negligence because the system works for us and we can't be bothered to update it or fix it, or by dominating someone else, that's that's not healthy. Um, I would suspect that somewhere in your past, people like this, somewhere in, in their past, would be someone controlled them to that point and that's why that kind of control makes sense is the only way to take back control is to take back that much of it on other people so i'm just saying that's unhealthy and that's that's how that's an actual enemy to this world an enemy to a neighbor so hey i hope this helps i'm about to put some avocado on this and enjoy it along with a cup of decaf coffee from Baba Java's Guatemala beans, which tastes really good. I really don't like anyone's decaf coffee, but Baba Java gets it done. Here we go. Wish you all the best.